Really, Cloud? Really? What? Bravo, bravo. Okay. Stop stealing the spotlights. Anyway. <clears throat> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's my Andrew Ford here, and welcome back to Battle Chasers Night War. As in our last episode, we crafted the Argeus's Bulwark. Or Argeus's Hollow Bulwark. I, I still suck at naming that thing. You want for whatever. From here on, I'll just call it Argeus's Bulwark, because that makes sense. It works. It's fine. We crafted Argeus's Bulwark weapon for Alamon, his most powerful weapon to date. And something tells me it's going to be very helpful later down the road. But yeah, if you missed that episode and want to see how a weapon is cre created, go check it out in the description below. But with that said, today, we're crafting the last of the Trinity weapons I wanted to make. And that is, well, based on uh, who the other two weapons went to, we are creating Dragonkind, Goalie's ultimate weapon. And this one, oh jeez, is probably one of the more painful ones to actually get together. Now, granted, this compared, like, because here's the thing, compared to, say, Calbretto, whose ultimate weapon must be created by doing Sky Power missions, or maybe say, in a sense, the garrison, you know, having to uh, accrue 32,000 battle points. Yeah, I mean, they're bad, they're very t painful, but this far than any of them. Then, well, than the other two, I should say, but it's still painful nonetheless. So, we need Dragonkind, we need three things plus 40 epic, epic parts, which again, you should have by this point in time. But anyway, the first of the things is one of the things we'll always have, and that's Artemis' Legacy, the default star weapon for a gully. Well, you, you can't sell anything, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Number two is the Dragonheart Philactory, I don't know what's called, basically an item that we get from the Ma Rift treasure chest. You guys remember those little chests that required us to get some special keys to unlock? Well... One of those chests happens to have a piece for Goalie's ultimate weapon. So if we go over to the Winter Bane, to the left, and then we're gonna go straight upwards. Now, there was originally an enemy here that was blocking the way, but I cleared it out to save us some time. Thank goodness. But yeah, over here, in this mana steel chest, you come upon a chest sealed with the power of mana. There are slots and start keys to open it. We need five keys to open it. So once you've obtained all five, use it, and you get yourselves the dragon scales. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 back up, back up, hold a second. Uh, sort by... These large prismatic scales are sharp to the touch and shine with iridescent glow. When placed together, they lock in place and form a surface as hard as forged steel. Okay, so apparently they're here and not in the other location. <laughs> Never mind. Well, so we got dragon scales. That's actually what it was in here. As for the as for the dragon heart elect This is the thing that gets a bit tricky. So I'm gonna get the exact description of how they put it, of how this part works. So this item is tricky in the map as it requires running two dungeons and having randomly spawning things appear. First, we need to run through Dungeon of the Iron Outpost, a dungeon containing a legend named Bevelros. You may remember that name, familiar. I, it was a brief thing that I brought up, you know, from a, from one of the uh, random rooms that got generated. Yeah, this is where this comes into play. <clears throat> so well, until we find a coffin containing a legend named Bevelros, he'll ask you to say to let him out. Although for completion is saying you should do this twice and refuse to kill him the first time around for a piece of area entry. But I'm gonna let him out because I don't care about my this isn't. Once you have let him out, we need to encounter him randomly in the dungeon of Deadwatch. Killing him here will earn us the dragon the scales, which is the wrong thing, it's actually the dragon heart. But this I'm kind of concerned about because that's all it gives you. Now I did off screen, before even getting to the uh, ultimate weapons episode from last time, I did do this stuff off screen. I do have the dungeons ready. What I don't know is if I have to have... I'll go through the first dungeon, you know, do that, and, and then I have to randomly spawn it after that. Or they have to be simultaneous. 
this I am not 100% certain about. So, this is going to be a show in the dark. But either way, here's basically how it works. To an extent. So first things first, we're going to head over to the Iron Ward Police Station and head over to the Iron Outpost. Now, the trick of the first part of this, as I said, it does it's randomly spawning. Now, for difficulty that I'm on for this, I'm just on very easy. The oh, just or just normal difficulty rather. So just randomly spawn this, you're good to go. I don't know when specifically show up. I got lucky and it's just the first room that I uh, walked into, so save myself some time there. And the same thing applies to uh, Deadwatch when we, when we get back there. But again, I do not know if that'll actually work. It all depends. But either way... I guess while we're letting the uh, long screen go by... So, going back to this, how it says, uh, you know, he'll let... Well, for completionist's sake, you should just twice refuse to kill him the first time for the BCA entry. If you refuse to actually let him out, I believe you fight yourself the shade of Bevelros. And just the quest... So, yeah, complete the, com complete the Beast Jerry if you want. Personally, Beast Jerry versus game, be being the full game. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going for. So, we're going to go into the first room, like I said. You'll know when the when you've got the actual room when you see this here. This little weird bridge system or stair system. You'll go to the left, and you'll see a coffin right here. You're scratching from a nearby sarcophagus. If we go to the thing, you're scratching and shuffling sounds in permittently from the sarcophagus. Ask if anyone is there. A weak voice whispers, Hello, is someone out there? Please help me, there's been a terrible mistake. Uh, and I'm just gonna say, sure, why not? Because I don't want to take any risks. By the maker, thank you. I knew a kind soul would find me eventually. My buddies and I were drinking last night, and well, things got carried away. You know how it is, right? Go on. And I just need a teensy time. You see that rune on the lid? I just need you to, you know, chant a few unholy verses, lay an unholy candle or two, and then boom, I'm free. And and my buddies get a hold of an unholy warning seal? Beats me. Those guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you might be undead. I don't know how to prove to you that at the moment, but I promise I'm very much alive and not undead. I'm a little shocked you think that, to be honest. That's not help. Okay, yeah, whatever, we'll help. A wise decision, friend. Let's get down to business. See the rune on the lid? Place your hands on it. You'll feel a little pinch, but don't worry about it. Do as it says. Words from an ancient language roll unexpectedly off your tongue. You expect something impressive to happen. Instead, you hear a, a gasp that sounds like a person taking her, her first breath after being underwater for an extraordinary amount of time. Winds rolls unnaturally through the surround. Out of laughter echoing into distance. Then, there is just silence. The sarcophagus is eerily quiet now. And just like that, we've triggered part one of the little side event. So now we've done that, let's head on over. Uh, let's head on back over to Deadwatch. Oh, and I pray this works, because another thing is, if we leave, I believe the Odyssey feature will kick in. Yep, Odyssey feature, they're right there. Ugh, so I'm praying. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Please work. Please work. I do not want to do this again. I don't. Because triggering the Dead Watch mission, the Dead Watch room, was extremely painful. I had to fight, uh, Bert... Derrick Max Lover's name is the final boss several times to make this work. It is stupid. It is stupid. Uh, it, is it was incredibly stupid. So, we've done that. Part one, we're good. So now, let's head on back to Deadwatch in the Southern Wilds Blink Station. Go up, up, up and away. And I can trigger this one on very easy of heroic difficulty, so there you go. Alright. Got my fingers crossed. Here's hoping for the best.
Please hurry, game. as well in the first room. How lucky be I? How lucky be I? So what I need to look for this little room right here. I think I'll turn us to the right. And like so, you get this little tome to Maria. <gasps> yes! It worked! Glitch stands before you. Ah, yes, it is you, the one who freed me from my prison in the outpost. You didn't quite understand what you were doing, did you? It is important. My name is Lord Balfouros. I was in prison there for a hundred years. I never did reward you for your help. Yes, you will make a nice addition to my undead army. But for... I... I may, may even make you a general if you are a beer. Tell me, are you ready? We will never join you, bitch! It is time, then. I promise to not let any part of your body go to waste. The lich approaches you menacingly. Battle time! He's level 18. Keep in mind, we're level 30 now. That should be one shot kill there. Ah oh, well. I will go for this. Boom! 3,000 from that soul charge strike. Damn straight! Goodbye. Victory crush! By beating him, we obtain all stuff, including the Dragon Heart Flickactory, as well as a Heart of Darkness and a High Paladin Armor set. And that's it! We're done! We got all the pieces we needed! Yahoo! And now we can create our, uh, the ultimate Aramis weapons, the Dragon Scales. Now, this isn't so much something to mention when it comes to weapons, but I'm kind of curious. So in context of the story, you know, the Aramis' legacy, the uh, weapons that Goliath always had from the beginning. You know, they're her grandmother's weapons, you know, they're amazing. Enhancing them by uh, other worldly means. Is this gonna affect any sort of shape or form? Like if this were Final Fantasy, I'd be totally fine with this. You know, I wouldn't mind the idea of of uh, upgrading a weapon to its ultimate form, but if a future game in this series, they do make a sequel to this game, and there are sequel comics. What's going to happen then? Will this be counted non canon, or... I don't know, I'm, I'm really curious. It's just one of those things that kind of, uh... Sends, a, sends an arc down my spine. But alright! Now the stuff is finished loading right about! Now, there we go. So let's head on back to the forge once a more and go do what, what needs to be done. Back. And nearly in one piece. Uh-huh. Now we can forge dragon kind. Gory's ultimate weapon. The heart of an ancient dragon. Holy heck. So if you're for stamina by 76, and of course actual damage by 640, or 16, 1,648. Awesome. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. And... Dragonkind has been made! Eh, goodbye. And like that, I am done with my own little personal quest. Now we don't have something blow this time around, but something tells get that bonus somewhere else. Well, yeah, let, let, let's look at Okay, yeah, this is pretty neat. I also wish they were green though, you know, it kinda fit with her uh you know, her armor in general, but it it works. I'll take what I can get. And just like that, we are th oh no, not that button. 
We are three for three. So, unless I decide to do something else, next time I'm about ch We are ending. Blah. Next time I'm about chasers and I war, we are ending the game. We're taking down control and saving the world once more. But hey, with that said and done, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed it so far, of course, as always, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should if you don't need to. And of course, subscribe if you're new to your channel and join the Dread Knights. Goalie, Alamo, Red Monica, and the rest of the team in their quest to take down the final boss of the game. But hey, until next time, this is Mike Force signing out. So, have a great start day. Take care, and with that said, we'll start over to MTU for the end card slate. I'll catch you guys for the final episode.